Konnichiwa guys! We're here! Courtesy of Toyota Malaysia, Autobus.my is at Tokyo Motor Show for the first time. So for all intents of purposes, we're going to be checking out the latest release and concepts from Toyota and Lexus. Sorry if I sound a bit too giddy throughout the video because we're here! We're finally here! All right guys, you gotta check this out. Quick distraction. You know how the Malaysian auto show you're eating in the basement in my apps? Check this out. How's this for an El Fresco street food experience? We've got pretty much the whole world's automotive journalists in one place. If anything happens, I guess no car news for you guys for a while. The Lexus booth looking very stylish as usual. If those of y'all have been to the Malaysian Auto Show, you know. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Would you just look at that? Okay, that's enough. Starting to feel a little uncomfortable in my pants. Looks like one of those sports cyclist helmet, man. Incredible. Yup, you clap, man. You clap. Alright, guys. See this sea of people here, this mess. This is what we have to deal with at motor shows, man. Let alone one of the biggest motor shows in the region, the Tokyo Motor Show. What you're looking at here is the Lexus LF30 concept. And once the people clear out, I'm gonna take you on a walk around. I'm gonna show you uh, a bit of details of the car. Obviously, this is still a concept. Nothing is definitive yet. So I'm just gonna walk you through the little details of the car the best that I can. Check it out. Check out the gaping front end though. So expressive. I'm not sure what to say about this. Imposing. So intense. Goodness. Check out those headlamps. Now that's a rim, isn't it? Although I can't really tell where the disc is. Not sure if even there's a disc. Like, this is a concept, man. Like it's way beyond me. I like how like nicely sculptured the side doors. I can't even. Sh I'm not even sure if you can consider these doors. I mean, who does this, man? Who even thinks of this? How do they even like mold it into like this shape? Apparently, it took them a year and three months to build this concept. Bring you all to the back. Incredible! Look how sharp these edges are. I'm afraid to even touch it, it might just like fall off. What are these even? Are these even tires? They made a good year. Wow! It's incredible. The LF30 weighs around 2,400 kilograms, which in part is due to its massive 110 kilowatt hour battery, but that doesn't seem to have hindered its performance at all. With 536 horsepower and 700 newton meters on the tap, it takes 3.8 seconds to 100 with a top speed of 200 kilometers an hour and an electric driving range of 500 kilometers. The LF30's cockpit is designed with the new Lexus concept of Tazuna, where all the controls and displays revolve around the driver. Driver, or in the words of Lexus, to achieve mutual understanding between horse and rider. In keeping to its eco-friendly nature, the interior is made up of recycled metals and traditional Japanese cedar wood called yakisugi. 
Enhancing the Tazuna team, Lexus also incorporated augmented reality and gesture control into the driving experience where together with the sense of openness, Lexus claims that it echoes the experience of being in a first-class airline seat. There's no other way to say it except that the cabin is simply a feast for the sight and senses. The glass roof features what Lexus calls the Skygate display, which can display videos, navigation and even a star-filled sky. This place is so massive, you can't imagine how huge it actually is. All these people you see here are walking towards the bus terminal. To get on a bus, to go to the other side of the motor show, to check out the other brands like Toyota and a few others. Insane, you think my apps and all is big? This is on another level. Look at this, queuing up to get on the bus, Japanese style. Betul, Malaysia lagi cekap lah. <laughs> Must say, that's a very interesting headgear my friend. So guys, we're in the Sora, a fuel cell powered bus. And look at that steering man, have a closer look at it. Does it remind you of something? Doesn't it look like the one from a Prius? Only much larger. So there's a newer version of this that will apparently be used for the Tokyo 2020 games. And apparently, although it looks a lot like a common bus, it's capable of level two autonomous driving. Pretty cool, eh? Without further ado, go check it out. It's an emotional. Konnichiwa. So we're at Toyota's booth now, and check this out. Look at the extent of the details. Must be Toyota's idea of the future, or perhaps the future of Japan at least. Can't see Malaysia looking like that anytime soon. Although, I'm not sure though. I don't think I want to be part of this future. It's just too much, too much contemporariness for me. I am guessing this is the ambulance of the future. Anyway, speaking of which, doesn't it remind you a little bit of the uh, Total Recall? That's what it is. Have you guys seen that? The one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. E for me. Sounds like a China China girl's English name. But hey, very interesting insight to Toyota's idea of the future, I suppose. How cars would look like, I don't know, 50 years from now. I probably won't be around to see this. Thank goodness. Here's another image of 
Toyota's idea of the future. I'll tell you what though, the future looks like there'll be a lot of spacious cars. Let's go have a look. Oh, I must say, plenty of space. Obviously, this is going to be an electric car, most likely autonomous. The room though, oh man, I mean, I wish you could be here to see this. I'm going to try to show it to you to the best that I can, but the vibe, man, it feels very roomy in here. And look at the forward okay. view. Can I go inside there, Mr. Pan? Sure, YSCOM driving. Okay, we are, <laughs> Sorry. We are in a share and ride kind of car. Shame and you don't get to see him driving up to Genting, right? Uh, he is <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Take the wheel, man. Let's go up to Genting. Yeah, I'm not used to driving with a steering on that side. <laughs> what do we have here? Look at that. GR. So what? The go kart of the future? That just looks insane. The freaking pot racer. Helmet should be very important, huh? I suppose, in the future. And I'm guessing the air in the future will be very clean as well. I can't imagine driving this in Masi Jame, man. So, as for the second half of our Toyota Lexus Motor Show coverage, pretty sure you weren't that interested in the concept that Alex had to show off just now, although it was a really cool looking car. This, you'd want to take note, because this is the one for the future. Basically, it shares the same platform as the new Toyota Crown. Runs on hydrogen fuel cell. Completely different from what you know. Basically, using hydrogen to create a chemical reaction, to create energy, and subsequently to power the car. Zero emissions. This is what it looks like. So it looks a bit like the uh, Lexus LS, but it's actually a completely different platform. And wheelbase wise, you're looking at slightly shorter, I think about 20 centimeters shorter than the uh, Lexus LS. Really nice looking silhouette though. Compared to the first generation uh, Toyota Mirai, this one looks just so much more desirable. So as for the second generation, they opted for it to be a rear wheel drive. There are a few different powertrains available. This one you're looking at in particular runs on fuel cell hydrogen or hydrogen fuel cell. There are obviously internal combustion engine, internal combustion engines. Tell you what though, if you thought the front end looks good, check out how the back looks like. If you ask me, it actually looks a bit like the Supra, you know? Oh. Wouldn't you want one though? I want one. Look at that fast backlight silhouette. I think that's what does it for me. There's so much of sort of Lexus influence. It's uncanny actually. On the inside, look at the swooping dashboard. It actually reminds me a bit of the uh, Camry, but goodness, look at the panels. Look at the gear lever. Wireless charging. This one looks so much better though. I'm gonna show you this. Oof. That's a really cool display. It looks so much better than the current uh, displays that we have on like the Camry, the Corolla. Look at the instrument cluster. Still very much similar to the ones you see in like the Camry and Corolla though. I'm not sure why if they can't work out something to look more modern, more futuristic. Alright, so not only will this second gen model due for launch next year has zero emission, it offers 30% more uh, mileage compared to before, ranging from 500 to 700 kilometers on one tank. Would you believe that? And would you just look at those 20 inch wheels though? How mad does that look? So yeah, the console you just saw there is actually an armrest. Before in the first gen, you only had four seats. Now, you can have four, you can have five as well. There's something very Lexus about this color, right? Even this blue is a really special color. 
Let me try to recall. So it's called Force Blue. Well, I'll tell you, it'll force you to look at it, alright? So it actually rides on the TNGA GA-L platform. And while it may look a lot like the Lexus LS, this car is actually based on the new Toyota Crown. Uh, wheelbase is about 2,900 millimeters. Uh, still not as long as the Lexus LS with the uh, about 3,100 millimeters. But I mean, looking at the uh, legroom from the inside, I don't think you'll be lacking any space. What you wouldn't lack though, is attention given to this car. I mean, look at that front end. It's so difficult to not stare at it. So that's it guys, our coverage at the Tokyo Motor Show for Toyota and Lexus. I'll be seeing you in the other videos where I show you very briefly all the other cool cars, all the quirky stuff that I've checked out at this event. As usual, for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. The Toyota Mirai guys. See you soon.